Side coach from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Chargers. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And incomplete to open things up. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock the Alvin away and bring up second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and ten. Here's a carry for the former Dolphin. It's Damian Williams. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll bring up fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. <laughs> yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure they didn't give up much run after catch. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Got a second here to talk about the Chargers as they bring their offense back out. And specifically, Phillip Rivers, Charles, fourth quarterback in history to start 200 consecutive games. The other three, Brett Favre and Eli and Peyton Manning. But he's playing at an MVP level, is he not? He certainly is and should be getting some attention for that, the tough part. Patrick Mahomes has kind of taken over that talk this year. But still, the way that he has the Chargers playing, the way he's delivering the football, spreading it around, he has his team in contention in the AFC West. Definitely there for a playoff spot, and they could be so dangerous down the stretch. And remember, they're supposed to get defensive end Joey Bosa back for the stretch run. He's been out with a foot injury. He had 23 sacks in his first two years. He'll make Melvin Ingram that much better on the other side. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And that was a good run. This was only one of nine guys to go over 1,000 yards in 2017. And I think you can't let him run wild here. What do you think, 100 yards, the measuring stick? Always. That is the threshold. You want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense. Set, 380. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. Wide open. It's Allen complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now Rivers. It's complete right side to Benjamin. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in, with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to want to offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. 
That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. On second down, Rivers again. And this is complete. It's Allen. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there of 20 yards. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good open. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have taken a first-quarter lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. That electric Kansas City offense takes the field again. And a lot of the talk this year, understandably, has been about Patrick Mahomes. But really, this is just a fun team to follow, is it not? It really is. And when you think about their head coach, Andy Reid, and his ability to adapt to the talent he has, adapt to how they play football in 2018, that should be ahead a little bit. Because you see elements of college offenses in his. You see, of course, the spreading the field and throwing it to his fast guys like Tyreek Hill. Travis Kelsey does a little bit of everything at tight end. Kareem Hunt. I love this offense. And they're winning games essentially 42 to 28. Their defense has the benefit of playing essentially every game with a 14 to nothing lead. So this is how they're winning, not on lockdown defense, but really through exciting offense. And now as the weather gets colder and they're having a good season, this is the time to be tailgating at Arrowhead. This is there the one is of the no doubt. Smell that barbecue yep. cooking and hear that Three. crowd chanting and singing the national anthem. Home of the Chiefs. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll lead here to a third down. the give now Mahomes and this is going to be incomplete I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities but that's the last thing his team wants to have happen right the last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time yeah first quarter only but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll punt it away for the second time and this will be taken at the 13. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now a second down throw for Rivers. 
Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They run it here. Where? And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Mahomes to throw on second down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A first trip to the red zone for KC. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Ware takes the give from Mahomes, and he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Here we go now. Green, 90. Throwing is Mahomes on third. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. That good for 22 on a first down. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. On first and 10, Rivers completes it to Benjamin. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Hey. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Set, 390. They go play action. Rivers. Taken down, a cheap sack, Chris Jones. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And this one is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. 
he was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So on fourth down, here's the veteran left-footed punter Donnie Jones to kick it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. That's taken on the 25. 12 yards on the return that time. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? To the right side, it's Kelsey. That throw good for four. It's second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Here we go now. now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. The tight end Kelsey was the intended target. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And this is caught inside the five. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. What a stand so far defensively, and now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Now this feels like old school football because this has turned into a good old-fashioned goal line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? And this one is right through. And the lead moves to 10-zip. So it's an old-school extra point that counts three times. So it's certainly a disappointment they weren't able to get it in the end zone. Yeah, I can just imagine post-game, head coach looking at the box score, 19-yard field goal, grimacing a little bit, but having to realize that at that moment, getting three points was vital. Go ahead and get the points, put them on the board. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. 
And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, Cito. We were having a tough patch. This two shall pass. This two shall pass. And finally, we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Ready, blue 45, blue. On second down, here's Mahomes. It's complete to Chris Conley. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Ready, green, 90. They'll run now with Ware, and he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. The Chiefs on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here. It's third and Green. one. Green, 90. Green. On the ground, this is where. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for L.A. The Chargers getting set to go. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision straight ahead peripheral also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open i think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league much more room to operate under after the big play here's first and ten they go back to gordon here on first down and unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. give him a couple on the carry there second and eight they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Check, 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 check. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Play action now. Rivers. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. 
and that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. Watch the team. Hey, hunt. They'll run it now out of the gun. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Trying to power it ahead with one. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Football's such a game of tendencies down and distance, and on third and inches, third and one, you're thinking, man, the fullback's probably going to get the ball, but when you get to third and two, most of the time that's either the running back or a pass play. So that's a nice tendency breaker by the offensive team there, handed to their big guy to pick up a first down. Now Gordon on first down. And certainly some style points there on the spin. Not a whole lot thereafter, but still a pretty good game. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. The offense on third down tonight. Just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Rivers going to turn and give this one to his running back, Gordon. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So that drive began at their own three. They wind up getting three out of it. And to me, the mentality to begin the drive, that was probably the key to everything. Let's just make sure we take care of the football, give ourselves some room, and maybe punt it away. Instead, it started at the three, and it ended with three points. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. Four down, four down, check. Here we go now. Blue. On the run, it's Ware. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Buddy, green, 39. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Some runs are blocked so well. You almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Here we go now. Blue 45. 
On second down, Williams. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Two yards on the pickup there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. But we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Here we go now. Blue for On first down, Mahomes. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Green, 39. Green, 39. <laughs> Looking to throw is Mahomes. The Conley's got it over the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Chiefs on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and five. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Here we go now. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Mahomes to the former Ram, Sammy Watkins for the Kansas City first. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Mahomes now on first down. And this is incomplete. They were trying to get it into Kelsey that time, and it's second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green. Mahomes again here on second and 10. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Here we go. Green. Nice. Now Mahomes giving to wear on the draw. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And Butker able to put this one through. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13-3. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? The wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they've got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 
And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to finish your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion now the chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime Second down, Rivers. Now he's forced out left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And that is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Here's Donnie Jones now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is taken at about the 14. 51 yards on the punt there. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. So we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Here's Eckler to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Rivers now on second down. Benjamin with it over the middle. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a charger first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? 
Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Charles, I want to go in a different direction for a second. Talk about Le'Veon Bell. Because a November 13th report date has come and gone. He's still not with the Steelers. Now, the good news, though, Le'Veon Bell... Not there, but James Conner has been good in his stead. He certainly has, and we have to think now that maybe we won't see Le'Veon Bell in a Pittsburgh Steelers uniform, you know, ever again. And that's for another day. He's not there. You just hit it, though. James Conner, this Pittsburgh team has really elevated its game around James Conner, playing awfully well. He's playing well. And I think there's a certain sense when you watch them that they all want to prove something to Le'Veon Bell, that they can play well without him. And so far, it's working. And James Conner, he's an easy guy to root for. On third down, Rivers gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. Rivers to Benjamin, good for the Charger first down. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. And it's because of catches like that. Hey! That's why he goes. Rivers now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. The busy night continues for Gordon as he gets it here. And a pretty good run there as he gets 7 down to the 33. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here we go. Looking to throw on second down. Rivers. And the Chiefs are going to get him. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. What, he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. So it's third and long for the Chargers and Rivers after the sack. From the gun, Rivers. He's airing it out for Williams. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Here's Donnie Jones now as he's on to punt for L.A. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Three, Seems simple, right? Three, the last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He's at the 30. Past the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 93 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. So from back deep, deep in their own territory, all the way into the end zone. You think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also showed that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take care of the football, be run safe. it, be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. Butker now to kick this one away. Here's Eckler to return it. 
And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was punt the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Now a play fake here on first down. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, 64 yards. And the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a good effort on the return there. Gets them across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, we'll see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's we'll see how now. they adjust. 390. 390. Now a handoff looking right. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. Had a pretty good gain. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Four down, four down. Ready. Now they try the right side here. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Here we go now. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. Four down, four down. Here we go. Three. And they'll run it here. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. 
That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here we go now. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And a short gain down to about the 33. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here we go. Green, 90. Now they'll throw with Mahomes, and he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete. Stops short of the 25. The nice move couldn't ultimately free him. Give him six on the play, and they're going to face a third down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. A pickup of five that time and a first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Again with Ware. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Chiefs on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Now here's Mahomes. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And the kick by Butker is good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Here's Eckler to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It yeah. was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Play fake to Gordon. Now Rivers. And caught, right side, Green. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, a 22. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade, 
Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations, so he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Justin Houston in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 11 yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a third down. Remember at the outset, you talked about the key being keeping him under 100 yards. Well, he's over 100 now. We're in the third quarter. So that has happened, right? So that goal's gone. Can they bottle him up the rest of the way? They'll need to do so if they want to try and win this one. We're back now in KC. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. The Chargers on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and seven. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And it's caught over the middle by the tight end, Green. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Rivers now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. On the counter, here's Gordon. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more on that one and another first down. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Third and short yardage, Rivers. And this is complete. It's Allen. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. First and goal, Melvin Gordon. And he fights his way in for a Charger touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. The extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. And that offense, Three, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Here we go now. Green, 39. Mahomes now on first down. Dumps that off to Ware. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Mahomes now. Six for now. six since Ooh, coming 45. back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hill. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Ten more there and another first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets. Double, zone, man, you go, name now. it. Green, Make sure he gets 90. a lot of angles. Green, Throwing on first down is Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Buddy, green, 90. Now it's Mahomes again. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And this is recovered by the Chargers. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one... That puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Right back to him on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's caught at the 25. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Ready. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a gain of seven on the carry, but they'll need to double that here. It's third and 14. 
bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The Chargers on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and 14. Play action now, Rivers. Now a hit, and Rivers lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. <laughs> so possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, go had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Uh, uh, uh. Mahomes will try again on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Chris Conley, the intended receiver, and it's third down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here we go. Green, 90. Green, 90. Ah. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Desmond King picks it, and he will score. Touchdown, L.A. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Extra point attempt to follow here. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded at the two. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All yeah, right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Caught here by Conley. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Able to get seven on that first three. down pass play. Three, Second and three. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. 
Nowadays, an integral part of the passing now game, and they create Three, such great mismatches that they Three, often become the leading receiver. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Man open left side. It's Williams. Give him nine on the play, and that'll make it a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. The Chiefs on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and six. And again, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs are able to draw a bit closer. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple more times to give them a chance. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Now the handoff comes to Gordon, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Hey. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And he fends him off. And able to find Green. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish, because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down, 
Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. And what can they do here on second and goal? Three red zone trips so far have yielded two touchdowns and a field goal. Now a handoff. This is Gordon. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Here's Gordon. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. This to make it a three-score game late. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure that ah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he showcases the spin, a pretty good gain before he's taken down. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. Here's Mahomes to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Desmond King picks it. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch counter punch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. I think this defense, tired of seeing him run the football, and this D-line probably getting sick of the O-line as well. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about a conversation I had with Adam Gase, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins in the offseason. He told me that he asked his running backs, 
each week for their favorite runs. Give me your three top runs. And right now, you're seeing a guy that's probably using his top runs to great advantage in this game. He is in a zone. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, I know at points in this one, you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say good night from Kansas City.